Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. So this week we are working on the Butterfly Half Guard, specifically with the person on bottom fighting to get an arm drag grip. And then we're just working the moves from the arm drag to either work a knee lever or arm drag to take the back. Um, so right now you can see like uh, we're working the John Wayne sweep depending on the head position. Um, and then the misdirectional drag. So if the head goes out too far, uh, how we could redirect to prop back up. I find it so funny that we call it DVDs. Yeah. I don't know. We're just reviewing no before DVDs we uh, anymore. get into it a little more. We did, we're doing everything but a lot of inversions, which is good because inversions would be kind of a little more complicated. Just where we left off this day, so that's fine. The sweep. So now we're, you guys can practice it all anyways. Depending on like the reaction, I go to push away, it gets the pass off. So if I don't get, do anything, he just pendulums up to the back. You can drill it like that. But I'm pushing back into him. He goes foot on foot, he gets the sweep. Another reaction, he gets the sweep, he goes for it. I back step, I go up to get back on top. So the, those are three options right there. We're just going to do the disengage option because we already did the other ones, but you guys can do the other two. They're really simple. So I found this week that playing around with this move live, it's a bit difficult to get completely up, especially during the redrag, which is a more common reaction I find. But I do definitely go into dogfight a bit, so it's interesting to see in the future how I'm going to chain this move with the dogfight options. Because even if you based out there, which most time happens, now I have two underhooks. Mm -hmm. I don't have the underhook, right? I try to sweep you. You might sweep some people, but a lot of times just the base, and then you hear. Now whatever I do, I can go to half, I do whatever, but I have a underhook. Mm -hmm. But that's the pressure you're going for, is from that same sweep, it is this. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Draw them all. So there's a clip in this DVD called The Special Gift in which uh, Gorn Ryan will use the uh, butterfly half guard to go into legs depending on how propped up your partner is. I just want to ask, like, you know, for those of you out there who do play leg locks, um, how successful have you been getting into leg locks from butterfly half or even just half guard in general? Um, yeah, let me know in the comments because it'd be interesting to see. Uh, it's been a challenge for me, but, you know, I'm just playing around with it. So, I didn't even go into, into, um, uh, yeah, you could always add to the drills, like half of those. If you guys have made it this far into the video, I just want to say thank you. Um, it would really help me if you hit that like and subscribe button so that we could slowly build this channel and hopefully build a strong community. And you can do that from any time you have a two on one from half guard with that elbow. So yeah, I push away, two on one, pass off. Yeah. I go to crowd him. Okay, and when my head's on, would be this side. He could get the the fucking the John Wayne produce it, but I'm gonna purposely because I feel this John Wayne sweep might come. I got base. I bring my head over this side. So now when he tries to do a sweep. It's hard because all my weight's over here, but what he can do is redrag. So now it becomes like so many options just once you get that arm drag right? Mm -hmm. yeah. When you're pulling that tricep, what is the threat there? Like that to get into like a dogfight-esque position? No, because if you need the other for a dogfight, it's just going into this. 
Because once we didn't drill these options yet, but with this overhook, well, yeah, we did one of them where we built up here. Yeah. And then uh, you get options here. Way. But there's a lot of things I can do with the overhook. I could also like go back to a knee shield with the overhook, and then there's more options from there. You can start going into triangles like clamp work. Uh, it's just when I have this strong overhook, like this is usually what it starts with something like this. It only takes like a second now for me to get here. Now if he tries to posture up and stuff, it's more compromised than like just being here. Right? Mm -hmm. So he doesn't want that. As soon as he feels it, he's gonna be pushing away that arm, pushing away. Because if he had space from here, he would feel more safe than when I'm here with him. Right? Mm -hmm. It's just like so. Bye. I had this open hook. Sure, he has the unhook, but with this, I can start sweeping and doing all the other shit. Right? Mm -hmm. The same thing because it's so interchangeable. That even with this open hook. It doesn't take much for me to forward shift, and then now we're here not having an advantage, right? Heads on the right side, you can't join. Yeah, now we can drill this because there's so many options, just the defensive guys give uh, different reactions. So, so we have the arm drag, what else do we have? Because that was a lot of It's just the arm drag, but it leads to everything. The arm drag. This is the uh, arm drag, do it right here, everything. Brings it out, bang. The first thing. Okay, when, when I'm here, see this hand right? Well, the first thing that I'm coming from that you go into is he pushes off in my chest and yeah. pulls that arm away. So I just use this, bang. He goes to push off, bang. First option is just a pendulum up to the back, bang. I can't get that because as I'm pendulum up, he's crowding me, he crowds me. Okay, now I get the sweep. But now he back steps. So I insert this, bang, and then I still get the sweep. But now I want to get the sweep but his weight's more down shifted, his head's on the right side. I try to sweep, it's hard. It's easier when his head's on this side, right? Because now he's more committed over there, but he's smart, he, he feels threatened. So here now I just redrag. Those were all the options. Okay. It feels like a lot, but there's such minor adjustments that you can drill them all together kind of, right? What if I put my head in the middle? I don't know, that'd be a smart thing. Though. All right guys, thanks for tuning in. That's all that I have for this session today. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like and subscribe button. Drilling half guard has been a really fun way of us mixing it up from doing the usual stand up and wrestling. And if you enjoy more of the half guard stuff, I'll have more of that coming in the future. But let me know what you guys want to see first. Very simple, very